Hello everyone, TechSpeeder here with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you the new Windows 10 Insider build 15014. And in this build, Microsoft didn't do a lot of new features or that type of update, but there's a ton of bug fixes released in this one. But however, they did include a couple more features, so we'll get right into them. Okay, so first off, when you log into your computer or virtual machine after doing this update 15014 you'll see a couple things have changed right down here in the bottom left hand corner Cortana has a little different shade of gray thinking they're doing this probably so stands out a bit and maybe people will interact with Cortana more that's just kind of my thoughts on that and we also have the mail app pinned here to the taskbar starting with this build and forward for the creators update they're planning to keep the mail app pinned to the taskbar just like along with file explorer edge all those sort of things also you will see your windows 10 insider preview stamp down here in the right hand corner changed up a bit basically it's some internal coding differences and so Microsoft is switching that up a bit but to be honest if I didn't see that in release notes I probably wouldn't have picked up on it okay let's get into some of the biggest features of this build one of the biggest things you'll you'll see everywhere is you can now purchase ebooks from the Windows Store so if you come over here to books you can now purchase a book whatever book you like if that's your type of thing when you purchase a book through the App Store you can then find your books in the books portion of Edge and there you'll be able to read it. If your book supports it, you'll be able to have Cortana to define the words in the book if you have questions as well as get maybe embedded video if your ebook supports it, things like that. So kind of a neat little feature that's coming. I personally don't read a lot of ebooks, but if you have a tablet like a Surface or things like that, I could see this being very helpful. And it would be nice to see Microsoft to make a dedicated book app, maybe buy the books to the store, but then actually have like a book app. But anyway, this is a start. So you can buy ebooks from the store. The next thing is the ability to pick your own custom accent collar. So if we come in here to settings, you now can select a custom collar. Let's say the Windows collars here aren't a big enough variety or you just like to tweak things on your own you now have the ability to use this collar picker to pick up RGB or HSV or hex collar code whatever you might like so for me I just picked this kind of a between a lime green and a, a darker green so yeah basically you get to pick whatever you think you like um, move this collar picker around to something you would like so that's kind of neat to see that for your accent, basically your accent collars are things like your start menu, your accent collar here, and you can also have your accent collar showing your title bars as well as on your start, taskbar, and action center. So you see that I, when I selected that, we got this green collar everywhere, but I personally don't really like that, so I'm going to uncheck that. Now also in the background, if you select a solid collar for your background, you can now use a custom collar picker as well and select that now I'm not sure why it's just showing black because a little earlier that wasn't the case so but yeah you can you're supposed to be able to select a custom collar here as well and get the same functionality as the accent collars okay and another thing I found in this build and it wasn't in the Microsoft release notes so I'm not sure if I'm late to the party or they just didn't include it but you now can download themes from the Microsoft Store. In the previous build, 15009 I believe it was, they had the link here to, to pick up themes from the store, but it actually wasn't working. It basically was just like a dead link. But now if I click it, and let me just close out the store here real quick. If I click get more themes online, it's actually showing up to these Windows themes here, which is awesome. So. I downloaded this Alaskan themes here, Alaskan landscapes by this Kyle Waters. So, and it downloaded fine and I'm running it right now. So go ahead, check out the themes on the app store. They seem to be working great. I think it's a great addition. Just a simple way to, someone can go in there, 
download a theme and not worry about getting a virus or adware because tons of desktop theme packs online are going to install some third third party software or something like that so it's a safe place that you can easily tell your friends and family to go without worrying that they're going to get their computer infected okay another one here another change in the settings is under the settings we have the ability to free up storage on your computer automatically so if we come under the home then system and then storage you see your local system storage here but you also have the ability now to turn on storage sense so basically what storage sense does is frees up your space automatically it deletes temporary files that your apps aren't using it deletes files that may be in the recycle bin for over 30 days so by default this setting is turned off so no need to get worried about this but that is kind of a cool feature especially for people that never delete things out of the recycle bin uh, or they don't even know that you have the empty recycle bin so kind of a neat feature for people that just want their computer to run well and just to do cleanup in the background okay so now in passing on this VM I can't really demo it Microsoft was just pushing out this update to some of the Windows insiders but some people are seeing a power slider down here so they can set and I'll just bring it up on their website here what they're talking about right here so basically some people with probably typically a laptop are going to see this battery symbol here and where you can adjust a slider on what pop type of power mode you might like whether it's you want the best battery life or the best performance which I think honestly is awesome because before the power settings are hid in under the control panel you sort of need to know where to go and there was different profiles and things like that so this is just a nice welcome addition where it's an easy slider just to move up and down for the best performance or best battery life so I'm glad to see that coming now it actually is not working it's basically just a UI tweak and they're working with their OEMs to see if that's something they want and what best settings would work for the majority of people the other setting that I can't really demo is the Wi-Fi settings are coming together under the settings and then the network and then there's typically Wi-Fi along here and under the Wi-Fi settings you're going to see the Wi-Fi sense and the paid Wi-Fi services something that a lot of people probably don't use but those are kind of merging okay so that's pretty much it for the feature updates and now I'm going to get into some of the notable bug fixes Microsoft fixed a ton of bugs and if you go to their blog post about this update you can see that they have just been hammering out bugs so what this indicates to me is that probably either this build or a coming one or two builds here maybe in the next week or two will be the final creators update and after that's decided they're going to hammer out all the more bugs and then get it ready to ship so a couple bugs they fixed that are notable for Windows updates there was a screen that unexpectedly showed up where it would just say working on updates and there would be no progress will they fix that they also fixed an issue where projecting to a secondary monitor would result in explore.exe crash loop so it would just keep crashing and crashing it's good to see they have that fixed and probably right along with that Miracast wasn't working on some of these latest builds as well so those issues have been fixed and it's good to see those improvements coming one more notable bug fix was Microsoft fixed the customized desktop icon layouts so after rebooting or say you had a laptop and you docked it and undocked it with multiple monitors or things like that your customized icon layout on your desktop would just disappear and your icons would be all over on the edge like normal so Microsoft fixed that so it's good to see that happen okay let's get into the notable bugs of this build so of course with this being an insider build there are some bugs yet so after updating to this build you may receive non-stop exceptions in the spectrum.exe service which may cause your PC to lose audio your disk input output usage to become very high and like programs like edge to become unresponsive so if you have that issue there is a workaround for that so I'll post that in the link below also 
during the installation of this build, you may receive a storeport.sys bug check or green screen of death like previously we've covered. And if you get that, all you can do is really roll back to the previous build and there's currently no workaround. So hopefully you don't get that one. And as previously covered in our last video, quick in 2017, it's still giving us an error stating that .NET 4.6.1 is not installed and dragging apps to pin to the start menu doesn't work. So those are a couple of the notable bugs. Um, you can find the full list on the Microsoft blog. They have a detailed list there as well. And one other thing, the My Microsoft Experience is not coming to the creator's update. Microsoft says in this blog post that they are committed to bringing out quality updates and deliver experiences that we'll love and the my people feature will not be shipping in the creators update and more than likely will be delayed till the windows 10 update codenamed redstone 3 which would probably come sometime in the fall of 2017 so sorry for the people that were looking forward to that that's pretty much it for this windows build 15014 hopefully you liked it if so Please leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.